and let's look into how our data set is variated so for that we will be having cancel and let's take the target so yes yeah it's with a capital T target okay and then I'll just write value problems okay so it's quite fine right it's quite fine also you can uh, plot out a count plot and inside of this what we need to pass we just need to pass the value of X and the value of y we can just pass this cancel out target. Okay. so that's a quick uh, plot which tells us that uh, it's quite imbalanced but it's fine for us as of now okay uh, and yeah obviously we will be getting uh, more of a good value more of a good fit for our target class one right which is our uh, benign yes it's benign yeah it's benign okay so as you see over here, why do we need PCA in this scenario? Now just get, if you want to do uh, a bit of ED on this. So visualizing, the first thing what, what hits us is doing a bit of visualization, right? Now just think of, we have 30 columns over here, 30 features. And doing visualization, uh, doing data analysis on each and every column. It's quite possible as this is 30, but just think of a scenario if there were 30, 300 columns. Would that be possible? No, right. It's it, again, it's quite possible. You can take a day or two and uh, do analysis in all of the 30, but let's think about 3000, 4000. Okay. Like hundreds of uh, thousands of columns. In that scenario, we don't, uh, we can't actually do that. Okay. So for that reason, we need to do PCA. That is, we need to diminish, uh, we need to uh, reduce the dimensions that we have from 30 to basically 2. Right. So for that, we need uh, our uh, this part. That is our dimension reduction technique. So we have everything. Now the next thing that we need to do is uh, let's get our X and Y. Okay. So get get the values of X. Get X and Y. Let's create out some new cells. What will be our X? We have cancer dot uh, let's do i location okay. i lock and we need everything except the uh, last one that will be a target one okay this, this will be working let's paste it around and we need again everything every column uh, sorry every rows uh, of the last column so we have x and y you see x to guess y okay so we have x and y Let's do train test split. Let's name this section as train test split. Create out some empty cells. Uh, so from sklearn, we are going to call from sklearn dot model selection. We are going to import train test split. Okay, looks fine. As I've told you always before that the next thing that I do is I take this example, copy out the example from here rather than writing or making any errors. I'll just copy out the code from here, paste it out over here, get everything sorted in a single line. And as our data set, if you look into the data set, how many values we have? We have E2. Let's look into shape once. Shape. So we have 569 values, right? So using 30% um, of our data set, I guess it will be a lot. So let's split it to um, 0.2. Okay, 20% of our data set will be test set. Okay, and always you can uh, set a random state to 42. 42 is also fine, whichever you feel like. Okay, the next thing that we need to know is just uh, try to recall the steps that we had in PCA. The next thing was standardize your data set. Okay. So let's standard, standardize the data. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the X train and X test and transform them. Okay. 
so from sklearn dot preprocessing we are going to import standard scalar okay from this we are going to uh, for create an object for the standard scalar class and the next thing we are going to take x train x train and then uh, fit do fit transform okay do fit transform x train and for x test what we are going to do is we are just going to transform it we cannot fit it according to our data set as it is a test set and doing that will completely change the definition of our test set okay everything looks fine uh, let's look into x train hmm. we have the scale features and also let's check into x test x test again everything looks uh, the way we need it okay the next thing comes uh, comes the next very important thing that is doing pca okay let's write this section as pca create out some empty cells and again we don't need to uh, code out the complete backend of it we just have a library scikit-learn makes things very easy for us so from again from sklearn dot uh, we will be uh, it's in decomposition okay from sklearn decomposition import pca that's it and the next thing that we need to do is we are going to do pca create a class and one thing okay, the parameters that we have inside of uh, over here we have to mention n components I guess everything is fine yeah n components uh, as of this the number of components that we need is uh, we will be needing two principal components that is two okay now we need to fit it, uh, it on our data set so we have x train is equal to PCA dot for as you see that this is x test so we can fit transform x train and then we have x test and for that we are going to again transform it okay not fit transform but transform it x test okay everything looks just the fine just the way we need it if you want to look into the components we can do that Okay, uh, let's look into the fits. As we have fitted it out, we can look into the components. Okay, these are the components, PCA components that we have. Okay, this and again this. Okay, these are the components. Let's look into some other features also. So over here we have something which is known as explain variance, which will just give me the variance of uh, both which will give me the variance of uh, both the components right so you see first one uh, it's 13 point it's having the most variance as component one will be always having the most variance and then again for component two, which will be uh, lesser than that uh, there are more features if you want to look into you can get the end features and the values main thing is we know the components and uh, we have this right now if i want to visualize the data okay if i have to visualize x train okay let's try to visualize it first okay before training our model let's try to visualize it as you see that over here what we have we have only two previously if you could uh, see x train was having how many values it was having 30 columns the feature uh, the values of 30 features now if you uh, see x train it is only having two okay it has been reduced from 30 features to two features same thing we have for x test 